everyone. Welcome back to Creative Crafting. Thought I would do an update on the mini album that I've been working on. I went ahead and hopefully finished the cover. I put lots of stuff on here. So this is the cover. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oops. Zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Um, I decided to use one of these butterflies I got from, I can't remember whose store it was. I think it was Liz here on YouTube. Um, and then I had these flowers already from a long time ago. And then I had, this was white and I sprayed it with, um, um, with my, some smooch spray. And then I made these butterflies. This one didn't cover that well, but it's all right. And then I made this little butterfly and this is a recollections and this is a recollections. And then I had this chipboard piece and then this was actually in a little, um, set that I bought they were pins like you put on a shirt or a backpack or something and I just cut the back off and put a um, pop dot on it and then put it in the middle of the heart because like I said before my sister really loves skulls so that I think that 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 should do it that would do it um this book is going to be a book of memories about her kids so um she can put whatever she wants in it but I made it she has boys but this book is for her not for them so um, I think I think she'll really like it. All right. Okay, that is the um, front cover, and then this is the inside cover. Um, I didn't do that much to it. Um, I've got an insert that I'm going to put uh, right here that um, I will show you that also. Then I glittered up these little butterflies here, and then this was just a translucent um, skull head that I glued on with. Um, trying to remember what I glued that on with. I think it was the quick dry adhesive, the clear one. The, well, actually, it's just the Scotch two-way that I use that dries clear. Um, and then I went ahead and used my, um, my Zetter for, my Zetter binder for the binding, and I'm going to use uh, black rings for this. All right, and then I'm going to show you the insert that I did. Um, I made this, I found this on a, the pattern on a website, um, it's, I, I saw Kit from Paper Kits do it, but she got it from, actually, from someone else that asked her to make a video that doesn't make videos, so this is going to be, a, it holds a lot of photos, actually, it doesn't look big, and it's not really bulky, but it's like almost a mini book in the book. So I went ahead and used some ribbon that I got from a long time ago from Michaels. So I thought it went well. Um, and then this is the flap here. Um, and this is die cuts with the view. Uh, street, I think it's called Street Lace is the paper line that this is from. Um, and I just made an overlay for that just so it kind of lays flatter like a book. And then, and then it just... It's really neat because it just opens like this. It opens like this. And then there's a pocket right here for her to put pictures or tags or whatever. Then when it opens, it actually opens all the way out. It's a four piece. So, and then actually, so when you flip it over, you still have one, two, one, two, three, if you put a photo here, four, or a pocket, and then you flip it over, five, six, seven, eight. And these are four by, you can fit four by six photos on this. Um, if you would like to see how to make this insert, I, I can definitely do that. Um, it took me a while to <laughs> figure out with all the twisting and turning that it does. But, yeah, it wasn't, it didn't take me long at all once I figured that part out. So actually what I'm going to do then is with the cover, I'm going to put this on the inside of the cover right here, hopefully. We'll see how it fits. But it's going to be in, that, in this book one way or another, so she has more room for more pictures. So I did go ahead and finish up all the embellishing on all the pages um, from the two previous videos that I showed how I put the pages um, together. So we will start looking at those. This is the first one. And like I said before, this this is this is where the binding is, obviously. Then it flips over. Flips open. Oops. Yeah. Flips open. 
like this, and you got a spot here, spot here. Then when you come over here, you've got a spot here, a spot here. And I went ahead and put some twine on this one. And then even still, there's I also made tags for in here that can hold a full size picture also. And I embellished it and put a little ribbon on there. So there's so it's just a pull tag. So that's one of them. This is another one that I did. So it just opens up piece and piece. So it actually will go like this. And then I stamped this little bird on here. This is a close to my heart stamp. It's called, oh, it's called uh, Soar. And then here's another piece here, another piece here for a photo, and then another pocket. And they're, each page is set up the same, but I just use different embellishments. So like this one is for her son Mike. And then here's another tag. The other one had a tag too. Um, and then one here, one here. And then I I stamped a little lip stamp that was a dollar stamp. And then I did this and this. And then there's another pocket here. And like I said, a tag. Then there's this one. And I did two of each page is how I did it. So I put a zebra print in this one. Um, then I went and did this one. And then since she likes skulls so much, I had this glitter sticker from that I've had from Michaels for a long time if you can see that up close it's super blingy and then I put the cross and bones over here down at the bottom and she can put a picture in there too and then this one I did embossing right here um yeah I used uh, that same stamp set from close to my heart and here's another tag there's another tag then this one opens, and then I did, um, I stamped Beautiful Friend. All of that was from the same, same stamp set. And then here's the last one. And there's another tag here. And then I did a high heel here. And then space here, space here. And then you've got this and this. And I used some more twine from Jessie's store on here too. So yeah so that's how it went um and so pretty much the back i just did basically um the same as the front but none of the embellishments just the same colors and that so if you have any questions feel free to leave me a comment below or send me a private message inbox um and like i said if you guys do want to know how to put this together and make one of these for one of your projects or even really you could do this just give this by itself um but yeah i wanted to make this book really special so um yeah so that is it and i will be giving her this book probably in the next week or so so i'll let you guys know how she liked it so if you have any questions about anything that you've seen here like i said go ahead and leave me a comment and um or a private message all right i hope everyone has a great day talk to you later bye